Alright guys, I'm back with a top that I actually like. Uh, as you can see, I've worn this so, so much. And we're gonna try to copy it. So, uh, this is the front. This is the back, two straps. With this one, we will need some elastic. So what I'm gonna have is this super thin elastic. I don't know the size, but just try to get a really skinny one. Um, and this is, I think they call it, uh, braided elastic. Let me get off close. Also, for this, you're definitely gonna need a loop turner. Um, you can use, I think it's a paper clip or something like that. These little things are so tiny, they've always given me a hard time. I made one other bikini before for my mom and tried to turn the loops and it was a pain. So get this loop turner thing and let's go ahead and make our reversible top to match our bottom. So the bikini top I just showed you guys, I cut it since I know I'm not gonna be wearing it anymore. Uh, you don't have to cut yours, you can have your pattern, but I want to make it exactly like this one since I know I'm retiring it. So it's a three layer bikini. Um, which just means it's got three pieces. Um, most of the regular bikinis I think have two. The template is exactly what I need. So I'm just gonna lay it. Okay, now just like last time, we're going to put it right side down and we're gonna cut it exactly the same. Gonna cut one of these the same size. Okay, so I've decided I'm going to do my white on the bottom, and then I'm gonna have these facing each other. So what we need to do next is pin it, just like we did the bottom. So grab your pins. We're gonna pin the edges around here, this side too, and then across the bottom. We wanna leave these sides open, both these sides. And we want to keep these tops open. So this is what your top should look like. So we have sewn across the top, these sides, and here. You wanna make sure you leave the openings for your um, strings. So it should have openings on the two tippy tops and the, both those sides. Okay, great. Now what we're gonna do is put elastic on all the sides that you see that we just sewed. So let me show you how we put on the elastic. Actually, don't cut it first. I keep it long like this. Then I just, um, I'm just gonna kind of feed it through my hand. Uh, not really pulling it tight or anything. Just gonna keep it loose. And it's pretty easy. Just gonna stitch it on top of what we've already across those sides and left our corners open we were talking about, the two tops, the two sides, and we have elastic on all those other sides, so. And we will measure, and I like to feel where they actually sewed it in, measure how long was the actual strap. And also keep in mind this has a little knot at the end, so we're gonna wanna a little bit extra, maybe like that long. Now these, I would go ahead and cut don't have to, you can sew them in exactly like I just did. But personally, I am not one who likes to measure. So I just measure with these how long I need my straps. Okay, so get your fabric that you wanna use. Uh, like I said, I'm just gonna use my orange fabric. I found a scrap piece that's as long as it, and I'm just gonna cut it. So it's probably about an inch and a half wide. 
We're gonna need some extra room to actually sew it together. And of course we can put our knife on and make it smaller when we're on there, but we need it thick enough, the actual tube, to turn it inside out. And that is sometimes tough, especially if your elastic is not thin enough. So Okay, now we're gonna turn our tubes inside out. So this little tool is what we're gonna use. Tube turner, I guess you call it. Oh, first we've got our tubes with our elastic. So we're gonna stick this inside, like so. Push it all the way to the end. And just let it grab on here somewhere. Make sure that little piece is um, like pushed up and then let it pull it in. So. I haven't found yet if um, found an easier way to do this. <laughs> I haven't been doing it long enough, so you kind of just tug and tug until you get this started and try not to rip your fabric, so be gentle, but um, you have to be a little bit forceful. Let me get it dark. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of try to pull and massage. There we go. We're getting there, guys. Just keep pulling. And now you can see our beautiful strap. Just pull it all the way. Pull this. Why isn't this side pretty? What happened? Looks like something's stuck here. There we go. Okay, so just pull it nice and voila, it turned out beautiful. I'm gonna do it for the rest. Okay, and I'll see you in a minute. Okay guys, so we've got our three strings, we've got our two strings, and next step's gonna be to put these two strings into our top. So I know the first time I made one of these tops, I was like, what, that's what we're doing, but that's what we're doing. So you want to open up your seam that you know you're gonna have your split. So for this top, we wouldn't want to put it in between these two because uh, that's not, that's not even attractive, right? So <laughs> we want to pick these two and we want to feed our strap through our armpit, basically, until it comes out of this little tip. Okay, so just keep pushing it. Looks like I might have to cut it a little bit. Here we go. Okay. And the tighter it fits, I think, is usually better, only because I've had before where I've sewn them and they end up kind of crooked when there's too much room. It's hard to keep them um, completely straight on the serger, so I recommend to make it as tight as possible. So what I like to do is kind of line it up in the middle Right, like that and we're just gonna sew across and I recommend sewing across here two times at least um, just because you're gonna be pulling on this a lot right to tie it around your neck and you want to make sure it's gonna have a good hold and you can cut these um, little extras off too so we're gonna do that for both sides since all I have is a serger and I don't have a regular sewing machine if you look here Um, they sewed these in straight across with their regular sewing machine. So if I had that, I would definitely do it. It'd be super easy. You would just sit them in there and it looks like the middle piece, they kind of just fold it over so there would be something to put the um, boot pad in. But what I'm gonna do, and this may be risky, I'm gonna serge across two of them and I'm gonna put the other side on the other side and leave holes at the bottom. And we'll see how it turns out. 